Hello everyone, today's topic is fate of ammonia. During nitrogen cycle, nitrogen is reduced to ammonia. Now in the plants, ammonia is formed. This ammonia is unstable. At physiological pH, ammonia gets protonated to form ammonium ion. But the problem with ammonium ion is, it is highly toxic form. Hence, plants has to convert them to other non-toxic form and the useful forms. That process we are going to learn now. So, what is the fate of ammonium ion? There are four fates which we are going to learn. First fate is ammonia undergoes reductive amination to form glutamate or glutamic acid. That glutamate which is formed can undergo transamination to form other amino acid. That is the second fate. Third fate is ammonium ion can form amides. Fourth fate is ammonium ion can form urides. First fate, reductive amination. As the name itself indicates, there is reduction. Reduction refers to addition of hydrogen as well as amination means introduction of amino group. Ammonium ion formed, it is introduced into alpha ketoglutaric acid that is amination, introduction of amino group. Alpha ket then there is reduction. For reduction, we need one re reducing power. One of the good reducing power redu generated in plant is NADPH. So, there is reduction, there is amination. In the, it, it occurs in the presence of glutamate dehydrogenase. What happens? NADPH, since it is a reducing power, donates its hydrogen, which is reduction, becomes reduced to NADP, during which there is formation of glutamic acid. Uh, alpha ketoglutaric acid changes to glutamic acid and the water is formed. Glutamic acid, NCRT mentions it as glutamate. Glutamate is nothing but negative ion form of glutamic acid. Glutamic acid is an amino acid that is known as reductive amination. Now, only one amino acid is formed in the plant so far. Plants need other amino acids also. How do they prepare other amino acids? It is by transamination whereby glutamic acid is utilized as a substrate to produce other amino acids. Let us understand how transamination occurs. Trans means transferring amino group. Now, we have taken this glutamic acid. How to represent an amino acid? R. R can be any functional group. I have not represented. Let us keep it as R1 for glutamic acid. CH, NH2, COH. This is one amino acid, glutamic acid. Amino acid reacts with an keto acid. Look at the keto acid. R2, its functional group and the ketone group and the acid. Reacts with keto acid in the presence of transaminase enzyme. What happens is amino group from amino acid is transferred to the keto acid that is known as transamination. When there is transamination, what happens? When amino group is transferred to uh, the keto acid, Amino acid, glutamic acid which was there, it gets converted into alpha keto, glutam, alpha keto acid which means R1 by losing NH2 there is formation of ketone group and COH is formed. Whereas what will happen to keto acid? By receiving amino group, keto acid will get converted into a new amino acid as I mentioned uh, from glutamic acid plants will be preparing other amino acids required for them. Uh, how to write it easily? We will be writing amino acid with R1 and R2. While writing the product, just interchange R1 and R2. Where R1 is there, you write R2. Where R2 is there, you write R1. You will be getting alpha acid, alpha keto acid and a new amino acid. Let us take one example. In place of glutamic acid, I have taken same thing, glutamic acid or glutamate, it will be having NH3 plus group. In place of keto acid, I have taken one keto acid like pyruvic acid. Pyruvic acid will be having in place of R2 there is CH3 then remaining things are same. In the presence of transaminase enzyme, what will happen? Transamination refers to transfer of amino group from an amino acid to an keto acid. Now to keto acid when uh, amino group is added, look at the uh, uh, compound form. CH3 is there, C is there. 
in place of keto group now amino group is added so nh3 from glutamic acid has come over here nh3 h and coo minus or coh is formed that is nothing but a new amino acid alanine glutamic acid forms keto acid that is alpha ketoglutarate this is known as transamination reaction by which plants will prepare other amino acids third fate of ammonia is they form amides what are amides what is the benefit of forming amides let us understand now all other amino acids are formed to that any amino acid amino acid is represented as r1 nh2 ch coh ammonium group is added there will be preparation of amides look at how it is formed nh2 same ch is also same co and nh2 will for, will be joining to form a group known as amide so this is an this is how amide is formed what is the difference between a normal amino acid and an amide normal amino acid will be having a less number of nitrogen whereas amides are having more nitrogen here you will find uh, the amino acid is having only one n whereas amides are having two nitrogen group that is the benefit the amides are having more nitrogen hence when if the nit if if the nitrogen is transported in the form of amide more nitrogen can be transported that is the benefit let us take example any amino acid if you take aspartic acid to that if you add ammonium then there will be formation of amide known as aspargine with high nitrogen content similarly if you take glutamic acid if you add ammonium ion there will be formation of glutamine one more amide can be formed so to any amino acid if ammonium is added there can be formation of amide amides are the compound with high nitrogen compared to amino acid this high nitrogen amides will enter into the xylem vessel then they are transported throughout the plant that is the third fate fourth fate of ammonium ion is they can form urides what are urides acyl derivatives of urea which here i have represented one simple uride look at the carbon and nitrogen the urides are the compounds with high carbon nitrogen ratio if you ask me what is the optimum carbon nitrogen ratio it is for every 30 parts of carbon one part of nitrogen is the optimum ratio in urides there is high nitrogen to carbon ratio which means more the nitrogen to carbon ratio it will help in cycling of nutrients for timing you can remember that hence urides will be having more nitrogen to carbon ratio uh, therefore it is beneficial for the plant in nutrient cycling it your pl uh, the plants specially soya bean plant soya bean plant is an example for plant containing nodule nodule containing plants is found to export nitrogen in the form of uride as i mentioned urides will be having high nitrogen to carbon ratio so that is the benefit for plant these are the four fates of ammonia i hope you have liked it please click the like button thank you